Hello internet friends, in this video I'm going to talk about crafting suits, how to put one together yourself to aid you in your crafting endeavours. Uh, mainly from the bazaar, we'll be getting stuff from the bazaar and uh, where to source these items and whatnot. But before we get to there, I want to show you exactly what a crafting suit is. It's comprised of three items. The first item is this one here, uh, the shirt. And this has food assembly and food experimentation on because Snut Snort is a chef. Uh, this will all be the same for you as well. Your breastplate is going to have your crafting uh stats on as well again food ex food assembly food experimentation on my breastplate i've taken all his appearance items off so you can see exactly what's going on here and he has a weapon same again those two stats which pertain to his crafting thing and that is basically your crafting suit those three items there so the shirt the breastplate and the weapon that is what comprises your crafting suit. So let's get to it. There are three ways to get these items that you need. The first is to do a search on the bazaar for the clothing, armor, and weapons that already have the skills you require. These will have been created previously by a crafter. And there are always two stats that apply to your specific crafting profession, and those will be the assembly and experimentation. So for instance, uh, a munitions trader, specializing in weapons would need the weapon assembly and weapon experimentation stats on their items reverse engineered clothing and armor attachments which these items are can only have three stats maxed so uh, in the example above of the munitions trader for instance if you wanted to do the armor which is another part of munitions you would need another crafting suit with armor uh, assembly and armor experimentation you can't have all the stats on one item there aren't enough slots however many items with assembly and experimentation also have that third stat that they can have filled up with another thing and, and that will usually be luck uh when i reverse engineer i also add luck because it seems logical doesn't it that many of the stats you could have luck might be the one that affects uh crafting but i've never read anything or heard anyone confirm that that is actually the case my gut tells me luck is irrelevant to crafting but um it's become something of a convention to add luck to these crafting suits so uh be, be expecting that luck stat who knows it might it might uh, affect things so uh, if you can't find a shirt breastplate or weapon already made on the bazaar with the stats that you need the second option is to look for skill tapes um, but they're attachments basically on the bazaar and um, can add them to the clothing yourself i do have a video describing how to find this stuff on the bazaar you know using the um, item filter and whatnot so if you're unsure of how to do this check out that uh, video i'll link to it in the top right here but you're looking for exactly the same stats that you are on the clothing. Uh, a quick note on the stats that are considered good. Uh, a standard kind of an assembly stat of 11 and experimentation of 8 would be considered standard. Uh, but they can go higher than that. For instance, uh, there's, there's one in this example here with an assembly rating of 15, which is very good. Uh, and lightsaber experimentation, for instance, never seems to go above 7. It's um, whereas everything else has 8. So beware of that variation but you'll see you know you you get a sense as you search through what the high and the lows are make sure you're getting the right item by the way so you shirt attachments for the shirt breastplate attachments for the breastplate weapon attachment for the weapon i know <laughs> I, I i may be spelling this out too too much but it's kind of you know a, a, a shirt tape thing won't work on your gun so make sure you you're you're getting the right category of attachment for the item you want to slot it into so we attach these to a shirt a breastplate or a weapon that has a socket free uh once you're ready simply drag the skill over the item and uh, confirm you wish to attach that skill tape your final option if there are no things on the bazaar ready to go uh is to find a friendly reverse engineer uh, who can do a custom order for, order for you or even start reverse engineering yourself. One thing to note is that for races with their own armors and clothing, such as Wookiees and Ithorians, it can be even harder to find what you want because those those kind of custom armors and things are in uh, slightly less demand. So be aware of that when you're creating your crafter. Maybe you want to go for well, like a, a more generic race. Uh, I went for Ithorian because I'm a masochist, but there you go. So... Uh, uh, those are the broad strokes of uh, crafting suits in the NG version of Galaxies. When it comes to Legends, the survey in particular, my own experience has been that if you're patient and you check regularly the bazaar, you'll, uh, the items that you want can 
generally turn up uh, they're not cheap though um so uh, the crafting suit is something it's important for a crafter and you're gonna have to work towards it so building up those credits and being ready to buy one uh, finally when you're crafting don't forget you can add assembly power-ups to the shirt the breastplate and the weapon in addition to the stats you're getting from your crafting suit so that's very handy when you're working on those those high value items don't forget to add power-ups uh okay so i hope this video helped and like i said earlier check out that video on finding stuff on the bazaar if uh, you're uncertain how to do that i'll link it in the um end card here if you missed the link earlier thanks for watching i hope it helped and uh, i will see you guys later bye